YouTube. Scott, Scott Off Road, how you doing today? Well, getting ready to head to Haiti this evening, and I want to get a quick video out on programming the radio. Um, worked with one of my buddies yesterday and got the ham radio programmed in the Jeep and had some issues with it, and I think we got them resolved, or most of them resolved, but part of the issue that we were having is one of my major issues I've always had with this ham or with the ham radios in general. So I figured I'd touch on that because I've not seen a video on that. Um, don't mind the squeaking, it's the puppy chewing on her new toy. But my Retivas RT95 came locked for 430, 440, 144, and 146. So you had to unlock it. And I found a YouTube video, and you can go and watch him at Simon the Wizard, and he goes over unlocking it. But basically, with the radio turned off, you push the function button, the P4 button, and with the radio off, and then you turn it on, and the radio turns on and goes into what's called test mode. In the test mode, you turn your channel uh, to channel 43, and you'll notice it says mode 3. So you push and hold the push to talk, and the color on the mode 3 will change and then you turn the channel to channel 2 and then release the push to talk turn the radio off turn the radio back on and that will unlock it um, and the reason why we need to do that is obviously to get to the channels we need or frequencies we want to display or use the radio for but let me show you now, and I'll turn the camera around and show you the computer screen and show you the, where I was at with programming this and where I was struggling. So, I downloaded the program for the RT95 for programming it, and this is what it looks like when it's opened up. And so, this is what I don't know what to do as a brand new ham technician, how to program a radio. I don't know what any of this is or what they want. So, we looked, and I'll show you a picture here in a minute. I'm going to see if I can't do this with two screens. I've got to do it with the phone and this, and that's going to make it a little difficult. But I downloaded the app, uh, Repeater Book, and we'll put that in front here, and hopefully you can see it. So what you're going to do is pick your repeater, double-click here, and it's going to ask for some information. So it opens it up. We're going to go to NIOP as the repeater. So you're going to open this up. And again, you open it up. This is your screen. And under your receive transmit, you're going to put 444.925. Again, it's the receive on this. Your transmit, you're going to put 449925. We're going to go down to name. And we're going to name this one NIOP or NI0P. And then what I was told is you go to transmit power right here and go high. CTTS or CTCSS DCS encode. We're going to turn that to CTCSS. And that's the code that unlocks the repeater. And on this, it's called PL. So it's the 100. So you'll scroll down. Click the 100. And we'll add it to scan. Make sure it's added to scan. And that's it. And then you hit OK. And then there you are, it's up there. And then you'd add the next one and just keep going down that way with all the repeaters that are in your area that you'd want to use. Now, one thing you do need to do before you do this, um, and this is where we were having problems with the locked, 
is it would not let us put in the 444925 and the 449925 because it was out of um, range of the radio. So by doing that unlock on the radio and then you transmit um, the radio to this program with the programming cord, but you go to program, so you unlock your radio and you hit read from radio and you click that before you put any of this rest of this in and it'll take that unlock and unlock this as well and then now that that's done then you're going to go ahead and enter in all the frequencies you want and then you're going to hit right to radio and it'll put all this on right to radio and then the only other thing i found in here that was interesting is under the function setup the r e t e v i s on the display um, display setting that you can change to whatever you want k e zero u p d and let's see if that will let me delete that one and then when i write this to the radio it's going to put that as my welcome screen instead of the radio name, and that is the call, my call um, name. So that's how you do this, and that was the issue I was having with programming the radio, is not knowing what to do with any of this stuff here, what to change, what not to change or add, and you hit OK. So now if this were hooked up to my radio, I just hit um, Program, right to radio and it would add that frequency in that's how you do it all right well i gotta finish getting ready for a mission to haiti so have a blessed day